Hello, everybody. This is Yoko Sataki Treasures, and to all the people out there who are freaking out over the election, you're probably wondering, well, did you vote? Yes, I did go and vote yesterday. If you're wondering, well, who did you vote for? Well, you don't see me freaking out. So, well, technically if I was freaking out, it could be about either direction. <laughs> either freaking out over happiness or freaking out over the future of the country, you know. But then again, <coughs> sorry, that could go either way. And just to clarify, I voted for Trump yesterday. And my mom did, my whole family did, essentially, they could vote. They could get out there and vote because my sister wasn't able to get out and work, out of work and do it. But anyway. You're wondering, well, why did you vote for Trump? I think that essentially this is the lesser of two evils. Yes, both candidates have their cons on this one, on why you shouldn't vote for them. Considering that Biden was um, not really running the country the past four years due to his, uh, his mental capacity, because I think he's either got Alzheimer's or dementia or something, and essentially his staff were the ones making all the decisions. Essentially, we got a taste of what the country would be like if Kamala Harris had become pre is was to be president, essentially. Because I'm sure she had a hand in at least some of those decisions. And I did not like it. The Bidenomics thing, for one thing, not good. I mean, heck, everything is so dang expensive nowadays that people can't even afford to buy groceries. Basic necessities are so dang expensive nowadays. And the cost of living is freaking high enough as it is, not without adding that to it. And, yeah, all I can say is Trump, whether you like him or not, or whether you want voted for him or not, I hope to God that he gives us back to what we need to be to make the country good again, because this is just insane with how things have been this past four years. I mean, heck, with all the wokeness going on, all the... Oh, shoot. Uh, that, don't worry, I didn't bump the camera. <coughs> I bumped the desk, and the desk has been shaking, but whatever. But yeah, all I can say is, whether you like him or not, whether you voted for him or not, all I gotta say is I hope that he does good for this country. That's all I want. Whether you vote, whether Harris or Trump would have gotten in the office, all I can say is whoever did... Do good by America, please, is all I can say. Make the prices go down, make the cost of living go down. Quit sending money overseas when we need it for our own dang people. Because how can we support another country when it comes to war if we can't even take care of our own people, you know? It's just like somebody who spends a ton of money on like designer things and yet they can't or they send their money to their families, and yet, in another country, and yet they can't afford to even feed their own family. It's like, don't do that, essentially. But, yeah, all I can say is I hope Trump does good for this country in the four years he's president. So, yeah. Trump, if you somehow see, if you somehow see this video, please, do good by the country. Just... Help us to be good. Heck, bring back freaking mental asylums we need to do. Because some of these people in this country are just cuckoo in the cuckoo for Cocoa Puss, essentially. And no, I'm not talking about every single woke person out there. I'm not talking about all them. I'm talking about the crazy people who decide that they're going to attack someone just because they didn't get their way. Just because they got misgendered or whatever. It is not going to kill you. Anyway... Yeah, this is just in everything is just insane. I've been so, I've been watching uh, like coverage of this whole election result, and people are fucking freaking out. One person, uh, dang it, I was just watching the quartering. Uh, one of the videos from his clip in the beginning of his video, one lady was talking about how she's gonna wake up a slave. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? When has Trump? gotten rid of anything in the Constitution in the four years he was president before, uh, before Biden came, became president. Like, seriously. 
All I gotta say is... Trump better be doing good by the people of the country because they're what got him in the office in the first place. Do good for the country and hope to God that they come out the other side of the ele for the next election much better off. And all I gotta say is whoever ends up running next time, I hope they do good, run, good, do good by his example is all I gotta say. Anyway, I figured I'd let you guys know, you know, how I voted and all that. Why don't you guys leave a comment saying how, if you vote, if you voted in the election, how did you vote? And why? Like, give your reasons. I want to hear what you guys have to say, but please don't, don't attack each other, please. I just want to hear your reasoning, hear your logic, and yeah, I just want a friendly debate in the comments, essentially. See you guys next time.